What's up guys, Sean here, back with another video. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to get a couple of your very own aliens. Hang around. Hey guys, Sean here, back with another video. If you're still watching after that intro, I really appreciate it. I really had fun making that intro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So in this video, we're not going to be talking about Martians or ET or UFOs. We're going to be talking about whether you should use one of these. It's called a loop alien. It's a line tensioner. Or whether you should just know a couple of simple knots to help you hang a ridge line. And in this video, we're going to go over how this works. And I'm going to teach you a couple of knots you can use in case you decide you don't want to use one of these. Let's get into it. Okay, now firstly, the, one of the biggest problems with the uh, loop alien here is they say that you don't have to tie a knot. Well, the first thing you have to do when using the loop alien is you take a, make a bite in your cord just like this. And you're going to run this loop through the big hole, just like this. Now when you do that, you push this back through your loop, just like that. In doing so, what you have created is a lark's head knot. So essentially, before you can use the loop alien, you have to make a lark's head knot. So right off the bat, the knotless line tensioner requires a knot to get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now. Uh, I decided to do this on the windiest day of the year, so hopefully you guys can stick with me. Once you have your loop alien installed on your line, you're just going to take and make a bite in your cord like that. Now the bite is going to go up through the loop like that. So it's going to go inside your loop. This is going to go around, we're going to call this the ear with the little hole. So you're going to go around this ear and pull it back. See how that works? Once you do that, you have a mechanical advantage and you can ratchet all the tension you want in this line. Now to lock it down, there's a lot of different ways to lock it down. There's a lot of people that have videos out there and I would suggest that you go out and find other videos. <clears throat> but what I've found the easiest way to lock it down is you're just going to take your running end, flip it to where you have a little loop, and your running end is going to be on the inside of the loop. Once you get this little loop, 
drop it right back across that ear with a little hole, tighten it down. It's gonna look like that. The back side will look like this. Once you have that, this thing is locked down. The tension is on it. It's not gonna slip. The nice thing about this is to remove it, you pop that last loop off. You just grab your thumb and your forefinger and push up. And that releases the tension on your line. So once again, we'll do it one more time. You're gonna make a bite in your line. You're gonna go up through. Grab that ear. And again, now you've got a mechanical advantage. It's upside down. You got a mechanical advantage. Once you've got the tension you want on your line, you're gonna make that loop again, making sure your running end is on the inside. Go back across that ear. And we're gonna lock it down. Just like that. Simple. Now, again, to remove it, you pop that last loop off. And it's just that simple to bring it off of there. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and do this whole thing up to speed for you so you can see how quick it is to install one of these and to put tension on your ridge line. Okay, we're going to do this up to speed now. Make a bite, come through the loop, make our lark's head. Make another bite, through the loop, go across the ear. Put tension on the line, make our locking loop. Just like that, it's done. Flip it off, flip it off, take it back out. So, the two knots I'm gonna show you today, the first one is a trucker's hitch, and the second one is a slippery half hitch. So let's get into it. So with the trucker's hitch, all you're gonna do is grab a loop in your line, like that, and you're gonna run your fingers through it, twist and grab, so twist and grab your line that's coming from here. Pull it up through, and then lock it down. So that's gonna be your trucker's hitch right there. Okay. Once you have your trucker's hitch, you're going to bring your running end from the tree, through it, and pull, creating a mechanical advantage, just like that. Now to make the slippery half hitch, all you're going to do is lock these, or lock this rope down here, drop your line on the outside, so don't go inside, drop your line on the outside closest to you. You're going to take your thumb and your finger and pull that back up through that, making a little loop right here. See it? Third thing I'll tell you is just a simple half hitch. That's what I would use to lock this thing down. So you're just going to, again, come behind your line, go around it, up through the middle, and come back down through that loop. A simple little half hitch will lock it down. Once you do that, this is not going anywhere. It's locked down tight. Then to take it off, you just push your half hitch back out. You grab this. You've got that loose. All you do to remove your trucker's hitch, simple. You just pull it and it comes right loose. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the trucker's hitch and a slippery half hitch up to speed 
and just show you how fast that can be done. So I'm gonna make my truckers hitch. I'm gonna come through, do my mechanical advantage, lock it down, do my slippery half hitch. Simple half hitch and it's locked down. That's not going anywhere. I'm gonna take it back out again. Now you tell me which one you think is more simple to use. Would it be better to have a gadget like this, which I really like this, this is kind of cool. Or would it be better to have the knowledge to not need one? That's going to be up to you. So that's my review of the Loop Alien. You can get these from a lot of different websites. I know they have them on Amazon. I think Sarah got these from Wish. Um, these are all just my opinions and I just wanted to show you how this thing worked. You have to make up your mind what you think works best for you. Um, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, it's better for me to have the knowledge to tie a knot because if I don't have this, I can still hang a ridge line. Now having the knowledge to tie the knots, it makes this thing fun to use because it is simple to use once you figure it out. Um, if you like videos like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for me, ring that notification bell, leave me a comment below, let me know if you've ever used these before. So the first three people that goes over to Facebook, now it has to be on Facebook, goes to Facebook and tells me you want a set of these and then I'll contact you and I'll get your mailing information and I'll send you out a pair of these so you can try them out for yourself. So thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you next time.